All right, welcome back to Twelve in a Trench Coat. I'm Minhearts Three, and today we are back in Dragon Age Two. Last time we finished Anders and Fenris's companion quest and questioning beliefs for both of them. So as far as companions go, they are ticked off the list, and we won't have to worry about doing stuff for them. I don't think at all, unless they have like mini, like mid act quests that we'll have to complete for them. I don't see us having to do quests for them for the remainder of the act, and since this is the last act, probably not until the end of the game. Excuse me. Um, today, uh, we will be doing Isabella's quest, and also taking a stop around um, Hightown to talk to Hubert because when we stopped in doing Ender's quest into the bone pit, um, it was on fire and in shambles and completely littered with corpses of people who were attacked by a dragon. So yeah, but today we will be doing No Rest for the Wicked. So we'll be bringing Isabella to Velasco. He spends his nights at the Blooming Rose. And then I just have to always remember who needs rescuing is a thing, and it was Gamblin's greatest treasure. There he is in his renegade coat. Either way, we can pick up Isabella, Meryl, and Aveline. Hopefully we'll be able to open chests. I don't think Isabella's lockpick is as great as Barrett's, but girls day out. Let's let's go to Let's go to High Town. I just wanna wanna need to sell things anyway, so there's that. Oh, you. Hi. Aveline. Right. You look after Hawk, won't you? Of course I will. What kind of a question is that? And sometimes Isabella gets into awful trouble. You'll watch out for her too. Meryl, what brought this on? Anything could happen. You'll protect them though. It's what you do. There's nothing to worry about, Meryl. Not the mage is having a crisis in Act 3. Oh no. Either way, let's handle level ups. Who are you? I'm Rose. Nuncio. Who are you? Hawk. Over here. Who are you? You were courageous to speak openly against the Knight Commander. Your words did not fall on deaf ears. Several nobles are discussing, quietly, what to do about Meredith. I cannot tarry here for risk of Templar spies. If you would make common cause with us, read this. I could use all the allies I can get. Secrecy is paramount. I'll communicate by messenger if the need arises. Make a look after you, Hawk, and our fragile endeavor. New quest, a noble agenda. I had the option to be like, no, heck no, leave me alone. I don't take anything from solicitors, but... Mm -hmm. So while we're here, let's have a look. Regret? Uh, 10%, okay. Wow, they should have just have some circle robes in here. That's interesting. <gasps> Backpack up! And with that, we have all the backpack upgrades. <laughs> I cannot be stopped. Can I hold a hundred things? Um, I'm not selling any of my stuff, but I will sell my junk. So, sell all junk. If it isn't oh. the champion. Hello. Who said that? Hey, adventurer, come replace your old crap. My stuff's fine, thank you. Limb taker, ooh, two-handed. Seems like something. No plus twenty-five percent chance of death blows. Seems yeah, it definitely seems like something that uh, Fenris would like. Nitro great axe, uh, weapon of oh, sword and shield. A seventy-six, eh? Edge of song and glory is so weak. Oh dear. I don't want it just because it has like 
a bonus to like healing. Yeah, that's two handed. Frick. You have the Quinari sword too. What the frick? Oh, cool. Tome of the Ancient Arcane Tome of the Mortal Vessel. Don't mind if I do. Thanks, man. He's supposed to be here. He's not here. Interesting. Hubert's not there. Very interesting. Either way, what's down here? Oh, this is Blooming Rose and Nuncio. Yeah, let's go talk to Nuncio. We don't have to be there until nightfall, so I was gonna leave and then come back because the exit is like right there. Cat. I shouldn't have worn these shoes. Well, Nuncio's guards. Ah, you? the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. Is there something I can help you with? I've come to you in search of aid. An elven assassin I have been chasing is loose in the area. Unfortunately, he's hidden himself among the local Dalish, no doubt playing on their shared heritage. He's a master manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. Your assassin is no fool. I doubt the Dalish would hand a fellow elf over to you, murderer or no. Ah, so you see my problem. Where that elf goes, death follows. He must be captured quickly. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. New quest, a murder of crows. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, it's not companion, it is definitely secondary. A murder of crows. Nuncio wants you to hunt down a famed elven assassin from Antiva. Ask Varel in the Dalish camp where he might be hiding. Oh, in the Dalish camp, I thought he was probably in the alienage. Noble agenda, Sir Marilyn Selbridge? She didn't introduce herself at all. Uh, needs several tasks completed to help them mobilize some, oh, mobilize some of the nobles against Knight Commander Meredith. When the tasks are complete, she will send a message. In Dark Tower, locate the secret entrance to one of Knight Commander Meredith's hidden supply caches of what? Supply caches of what? Kill the Knight Commander's hand-picked zealots who have been purging mage sympathizers in, in Low Town. Bruh, we don't like that. Okay, it's right there. But it did say after nightfall. So let's leave. Come back at night. It's a chest or a crate. Uh, 30, 32 silver, 33 copper, and torn trousers. I can't believe they're just. Is this their stuff? I thought it was their stuff they were standing amongst it. Either way, we can go into the blue. It doesn't really rose. look anything like a rose. Maybe they should change the name. Okay. Going through the kitchen. Find a crate with six silver, 43 copper, um, woven bracelet, and another crate next to the barrels with headwear in it. This door doesn't work. No, I will be going upstairs. Oh. We can find the good is Donning. Is he cocksure? That's his room over there. Are you ready? Yes, I think so. Now, this needs to be convincing. And you'll need to get creative. Call me names, even hit me. 
Stick with it, no matter what I do. Velasco's a clever son of a bitch. If you waver, he'll notice. It's not fair sometimes with the with the companion dialogue because we were literally. J I just I wanted to know what she was going with that. Like, where were you going with that? Why are you, Isabella? <laughs> and then, all right, yeah, this is his room. Are you ready? Like, no, no, wait, hold on. What was she going on about? I don't know if I can pull this off. Come on, haven't you ever wanted to slap me? Just a little. Absolutely. Yes. Wait, w w what are we voting on? I wasn't asking you people. Whatever you do, just make sure he takes me to Castillon. I'll leave a trail for you to follow. Let's go. I'll wait outside the room. Good luck. Oh, thanks. Ah! What the... Get back here, you... Skittish bitch. I hope you have a good reason for interrupting my private time. I have a present for Castillon. Present for... What? You should see the look on your face. This wasn't the plan. We were going to kill him. Remember that time you ran off with the Tome of Coslin? This is like that, only funnier. You backstabbing little shit. You'd better start sleeping with one eye open. Castillon will be pleased. He's been looking for Isabella for some time. A token of our appreciation. It's more than she is worth. They just dragged Isabella out of here. We should follow. I'm sorry, three sovereign? I think Isabella's worth more than three saw. No, I know sure, for sure, that she's worth more than three saw. She's priceless. Okay. Um. Because things might be happening, uh, we shouldn't bring the guard with us. So let's. Do that. Which is really cool, because we can just. Yeah, there's just a gather party thing right there. Okay, once we step out, we immediately find Isabella's trail. It's like the trail Isabella left. This is Isabella's trail. Okay, and we can just follow. This belongs to Isabella. We can just follow it. You should really post some guards outside your estate, considering all the trouble you get into. Oh, me? Oh, pfft. No, I'm fine. Anyone who steps to me knows they'll probably end up on fire by the end of it. And no one wants to be on fire, Fenris. Let's just be honest with ourselves. The trail leads to Lowtown. But either way, following the trail leads to Lowtown. So let's go to Lowtown. belongs to Isabella. What is she dropping? Is it like sand or wood or dust? What the <laughs> I'm sorry, he Let's finish this! She... <laughs> it's so impressive when they leap out of nowhere. Loot the follower of she to get um, the ball of aged antique brandy. Twelve silver, seventy-three copper. Six silver, fifty-six copper. Six silver, nine, seventy-nine copper. A wooden cracked shield. That's Isabella's quest. 
Alright, and when we're done, we have a trail to follow, so we can keep following it. This belongs to Isabella. Me too. Okay. Going into this area that they were in, there's some rubble in the back with a Kronari sword in it. I don't know how many Kronari swords we have to find, but I haven't turned any of them in. I think I might have turned one in. But... Yeah. But, no one has anything to loot. There's a barrel by the door that they had poured from. Uh, 19 silver, 47 copper, and right next to it is more of Isabella's like trail. trail Isabella left. in here. There's a sack with Chip the Serpent's statuette. I think that's what it said. Uh, down here I did see something glittering. There's a crate stacked on top of another crate with 10 silver to copper. Alright, going back up the stairs, rounding the corner to follow the trail. We run into more people! Yay. Let's say you guys are almost three for three. You sure you wanna try your next in this basket that way? a lot. Another follower, 6 silver, 51 copper. Follower, 12 silver, 86 copper. 6 silver, 43 copper. 12 silver, 67 copper. And another bottle of aged and even brandy, 6 silver, 76 copper. Alright, looks like the path is leading down. Oh, okay. Dominated fighter. What is happening right now? Oh, seven gang. Dominated scoundrel. I'm sorry. Oh, the followers of she and the dominated fighters are fighting each other. We've stumbled into a turf war. Well, you know what turf wars need. Fire! <laughs> of any city is found among its poor. Hmm. Is she too with brandy? Um, another bottle of each and even brandy, six over thirty-five copper. I was hoping to probably get a note like, hey, this is where our hideout is. Make sure no one follows you back. How many times have we fought people outside of Gamblin's house? Honestly. That poor man needs a break. Alright, I know I shouldn't be, like, looking around all over the place. Oh, maybe you are saying that. Okay, but that's basically looped us back where we were. I'm gonna drop down a little bit into, um... 
into the alienage. I'm just gonna like dip my toe in just to see if there's anybody just being stupid. The elves who don't live here actually have it worse. I'd hate to be an elf in Dark Town. Mm, I'd also hate to be an elf in Dark Town. There's a sack uh, with the raven feather in it. Uh, I don't think I see anything else. Meryl's house. And that's the house of the lady who we helped. Um, her son is uh, Fainrail. And when we are finished... I mean, we could go the other way. I don't want to take up too much time. I don't want to take too much time because we've already taken up quite a bit fighting all of them. It doesn't seem like they're right here, so we can just follow the path, which I think this leads down to the docks. Isabella's leading me to the docks. Alright, when we're ready, we can go to the docks at night. Ooh. What is that? What is that? I've been to the docks at night before. Looks like the trail Isabella left. What? <gasps> Slave hunter. <laughs> Don't you guys have anything better to do? It's supposed to be a statue of me. Well, that just looks like a guard, so I don't think that's supposed to be a statue of me. Um, but... Oh, they got the freaking Chantry symbols all over this. Because the Chantry symbols weren't all over it before. That's one way to go about it. Uh, yep, there's more of the trail, but I wanted to dunk in here real quick. Yep, this is passage, there's a barrel. An etch staff? I think that's what it was. I think that's what it was. A pile of bones with a Quinari sword on it. Um, this passage. There's it there. Okay. This isn't where it's going at all. We're gonna follow the path. <laughs> the path goes to the right. Oops, slave under. 13 silver, 32 copper. Okay. Random sir. Random dude. Following trail. Ooh. Oh, okay, here we go. Cassian's landing. Everyone stay still and try not to make any loud noises. There's a Is it this? Okay, cool. We disarmed a trap that was in the floor. Uh, there's a crate with 15 sovereign, 92 silver, and 73 copper. My gosh. And then on the far edge, there is Superior Longsword, an inscribed enchanted staff. Superior. Um, and a greater ring and an ornate ring in a crate below a brazier. We can go back to the room that we were just in, and I'm gonna save. And we can enter this room. Why don't we work something out? If you're good, I'll tell Castillon to go easy on you. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I do have standards. You're going to do whatever I want. 
I own you. You sure about that? You! I knew the beach was up to something! Kill them! I just did a slow backflip, what the heck? Velasco sent word to Castillon. He's on his way. Let's look around first. I want to know why he's in Kirkwall. Oop, okay. Um, we no longer need... Okay. Okay, um... Pairing knife. Okay, I had to look this up. This was looted from um, Velasco's corpse, so we can inspect it. 35 physical damage as a rune slot, plus 65 to attack, and plus 5% chance to regenerate 2% uh, mana or stamina. We will obviously give that to her because I haven't upgraded her stuff, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, let us look around a little. Uh, up here, there is a complex locked chest with 46 silver, 79 oh. copper. And open this door where we find a chest marked Ambrosia. The uh, is Aria, uh, commonly known as the Silent Plains Rose, is to this day the only plant found growing on the Silent Plains, which were tainted by the blight a thousand years ago. As mentioned in the section on rare flowering plants, Felsidius aria is not technically a rose, though its flowers do execute a sweet rose-like scent. The flower is rare and is in danger of becoming extinct because of its value in the creation of ambrosia, which is distilled from the roots of the plant. Dozens of these plants go into the making of just one vial. Some say that the wives of the most powerful Tevinter Magisters once used the Ambrosia to perfume their baths in a vulgar display of wealth. An excerpt from the Botanical Compendium by Inez Arencia Botanus. So, we have it. New Codex Ambrosia. So, I think... I don't think that was the last thing, but we do have the codex updated for it. Okay, um, we've been into this back room. There's nothing else here. Yeah, this door doesn't even open, but we've been in that room. I don't think there's anything over here, but I'll look over here regardless. Nothing, okay. Um, I'll check the docks again. Anything down here? There is a crate at the docks with 32 silver, 51 copper, and a moth eaten scarf. But other than that, nothing else of note. So when we are ready, we can go through this door. All set. And find this chest with a cracked staff and incriminating documents. So Castillon's looking to expand his slaving business. Why am I not surprised? These documents should go to the guard. We'll at least arrest his accomplices. That is something. They could go to the guards. And Velasco told me you were all tied up. A lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear he makes. Well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery in the free marches? They're not going to like that. Get to the point. Give me your ship, 
and your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. If you want the ship, can't we just kill him and take it? You don't just kill a man and take his ship. That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Can you trust him? He trades people for money. Castillon's a businessman, and this is a business deal. He'll keep his end of the bargain. What happened to getting rid of Castillon? I am getting rid of him. Through peaceful means. Coming from her, that's priceless. I saw the ship docked in the harbor, Castillon. She is splendid. I want her. Give me the documents, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. Give me the documents. You've made your decision, Isabella. Do as you wish. The ship is yours. Let me say, my dear, that you would make a remarkable ally for any man able to tame you. Our business is hereby concluded. Forever. Be well, Isabella. He didn't deserve to walk free. He'll get what's coming to him someday. Doesn't need to be at my hand. How does it feel to have finally gotten the ship of your dreams? Better than three greased-up sailors. I really should haul anchor first thing tomorrow morning, but... I don't know. I've taken a shine to Kirkwall. And some of the people in it. I might stick around. Come on. Meryl's just standing back there, like, uh-huh. Alright, and with that, we keep Isabella in our party, and we get the Ambrosia for the Supplier Achievement. Well, we can just pick her up right now. Quest updated, questioning beliefs. Okay, maybe we, maybe we finish this. Oh. Okay, I thought it said that I did that. I was like, what? No, I didn't. Speak to Isabella in Low Town's Hangman Tower. Perfect. Yeah. Let's let's not go through the trap. Okay. Let's not burn our footsies. Okay. Oh. Hold on. There's a sack on the floor. I didn't see it. With a flawed diamond in it. Well, when we're ready, we can finally leave. I do so love girls' night. Over to copper. Ooh. Not able to get in the water. And that's okay. Another disused passage. A chest locked master. I'd like to, sweet thing, but I can't. Insufficient skill, Isabella. <sighs> okay. We'll have to come back and see if and see if um Varric can do it. If he can't unlock that chest, then we're we're in a bit of a pickle. Like a bit of an issue. So we'll do her thing and then we'll come back with Varric to see if we can unlock it. If not, we're gonna have some we're gonna have some problems with how I'm leveling people. But in any case, yeah. Watch your fourth to the hangman. Uh, the bartender. Okay. 
Do you think it's time for Verick to tell us a story while we're here? Probably. Isabella? You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. Ah, you're still here. At least some things are constant in this ever-changing world. What? If you call me your rock or your foundation, I'm gonna hit you. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. You've been a good friend. And a constant source of excitement. Oh, you do know how to flatter a girl. Now that I have my ship, I'll need a new crew. And I'd like to have someone like you on board. Someone I can really trust. Who has my back, no matter what happens. I am the champion of Kirkwall. I need to stay here. You're the champion of Kirkwall? You can do whatever you please. Well, if fame, fortune, and the adulation of Kirkwallers ever gets boring, the invitation's open. I just hate to have to say goodbye. You're the best friend I've had in... in a very long time. <laughs> a toast to friendship and to us. Okay, so... Next time, we will be... Now that we see that Hubert's just not there, we're going to be doing the Mind Massacre. Because I'm out of time at the moment. We have some more things to look into, like a murder of crows. Maybe we'll just do stuff in the, um, in, in Sundermount. Yeah, maybe we'll do Sundermount stuff next, next episode. So yeah, um, yeah, next time, send them out. But in any case, until next time.